So Inquisimunda or Inquisitor, Necromunda, whatever, basically um, 40k skirmish games. Um, I've really got into them lately um, just because it, they're... They lend themselves to a lot of creativity, particularly with um, like kit bashing and conversions. So these are my current finished models. Um, I have been posting photos on the um, Inquisimunda Facebook page, which if you are interested in um, conversions and kit bashing for 40k, it is the place to go really. Like the amount of creativity and inspiration on that site is um, well, second to, second to none, really. So check that out. I'll put the description in the link below. But um, for this video, I'll just uh, walk through a few of my little conversions and uh, models and let you know what I did and uh, hopefully give yourself some inspiration. So this guy here is a little cherub fella. Um, this came with... Oh, this came with the Death Corps Krieg um, Quartermaster set. And in fact, is supposed to be on top of this character here. This guy here, I've done up as a kind of scribe. Um, I've added this arm here from the Medica, which comes in the same set. So there's those two. They make nice um, objective markers in 40k or in Inquisimunda. It's it's very narrative driven, so um, it's good to. Um, have some like non-militaristic um, characters in there which I hope uh, Games Workshop actually do is say uh, like civilian set that would be brilliant if they do that I will lose my shit but um, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll see it's unlikely so um, these guys here are pit slaves or um, sump workers basically just um, servitors really um, you can use them for anything um i've used the base of the um uh, goblin town miniatures these are the goblins obviously um and uh, the arms what i've done here is i've cut the arms off and replaced them with fingers from the lightning claws um because they're nice and sleek and slender um also the shoulder pads i think are from imperial guard um like armored crew um, also the heads, as I'm sure you'll recognise them, they're uh, from the backpack fence for Space Marines. And I've just used a bit of um, guitar wire to add those tube ins onto the back of these vents, which I completely forgot what they come from, so sorry about that. Uh, I've tried to keep all the paint um, schemes quite pallid, um, just to keep in that grim dark theme. So this is the Inquisitor. He's um, yet to have a name. Uh, the head is from the Wanderer, the Marauder, Wolfric the Wanderer. Uh, so he's got himself a bolt pistol and a power sword. That's that guy there. Also, I've added the um, Iron Halo on the back there. So that's that chap. This guy is um, basically a fanatic uh, from Mordheim, or Flagellant, sorry, and I've just uh, painted him up as some kind of 40k zealot, some kind of, um, yeah, fanatic. So I've, I'm quite happy how his face came out. It's, I um, don't know if you can see very well there, but um, yeah, he's got a bit of a beard going on. So that's that guy there. This chap I'm quite happy with as well. This is uh, simply made out one of the Nurgling miniatures. And again, I've used the power claw finger for his leg. Kind of like a bouncing ballerina of death, this guy. So the head is from a servo skull. Also, if you're wondering how I do the bases, I've gone for kind of like a dusty sort of like... Um, uh, industrial sort of look. Um, basically, I use Armageddon dust as a base, the technical paint from Games Workshop. Then I go over th um, particular bits with the Agrellan Earth to get that cracked effect. Uh, after which, I um, glaze the whole base in uh, 
Cassandra Yellow, I think it is, or Cassandora Yellow, the uh, glaze. It's kind of an orangey yellow. And then last of all, once that's dried, I then um, dry brush the whole thing, uh, bleached bone, or you shabdy bone actually. So that's that guy. Down here is Patsy. Uh, this again used from the uh, goblin uh, miniatures from The Hobbit. I've given this guy a lance pistol. And the head is from a um, Perry Miniatures War the Roses set, actually. The, if you're wondering where that's from. Um, the arm here, these like um, tubes and uh, drugs or whatever has been pumped into this guy. Uh, uh, that one there, I think, is from a Tau plasma gun. Uh, the big one is from the uh, Medicae from the Quartermaster set as well. So there's that one. I've used quite a lot of the uh, ni Nilox, of whatever the technical paint is for like um, to get verdigris. It's a nice paint. So this one here again I'm quite chuffed with. This is uh, Lady Corvus who's um, converted from a, uh, well kit bashed from a Sister's Silence. Uh, she's kind of a um, uh, noble um, hired sword, so she's um, well equi well equipped. She's got herself a uh, set, uh, like rapier there, which um, I, I found the um, the claymores that come with the Sisters of Silence are a bit big for such a sleek like figure. So what I've done is I cut that off and replaced it with a needle. So um, that's that one there. I've also had a couple of piping onto the uh, base as well. Uh, I've still yet to do the feather. I put a post off what colour to do it and I just I just can't make my mind up. So I will get round to it, but it's just a matter of when. So there's that one. And last but not least is this little fella here. Again, another servitor. Um, the head is a ghoul from the undead set again the base is a hobbit goblin they're they're great miniatures to convert um i green stuffed over the face and did some checker work on there uh, i don't know where i got that like uh, antenna from uh, in fact i think that might be from the lightning claws as well the arms are chainsaw um Bayonets from the uh, some of the Forge World Phobos bolters, I believe, um, and again pipe in, and I'm not sure what that bit is there. So I've got quite a few bits box that I just pull from, and yeah, it, it's it's a great way to make use of all those extra bits that you wouldn't normally use. Uh, there's the dog there being all lazy, so. Yep, so there's uh, those ones. Oh, and before I go, I've got a couple of objective markers, which I've done for my Blood Angels army, which I'm sure there'll be a picture or a video of soon. Um, so this is the um, cat from, or C-A-T, from the Space Hulk set. Love this little miniature. I had to paint this one a couple of times, so I was happy with it. Um, just a servitor there. I don't know if you can see, but I have done some details on the actual all specs. There's that one. That's just some kind of an antenna. And we've got uh, this one here, which is like a homing beacon or a teleport beacon or something with a Blood Angels helmet. So, yeah, there we go, guys. Uh, let me know if... Um, you, you, you're you interested in the whole um, narrative-driven uh, kind of 40k skirmish games. And if you are, like, please put up some videos on YouTube because it's always great to see more of it and see um, people's great ideas and that. I mean, everyone has a very different way of looking at such a vast universe such as the 40k background. And um, I think it's good to see all the different aspects of it and what people can make out of their pits boxes so um yeah please get get stuck in build some models even if it's just like one or two and uh post some videos up because um yeah is it the hobby is all about creativity at the end of the day so 
there we go so there's that one for you and um let me know uh, in the comments below if um uh you want to see any more videos like this um because it is something that does interest me quite a bit and um it, it it makes a change of like painting big armies of like the same thing over and over again like each model here is very individual and has their own use and story so um yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, see you in the next vid.